This visualization shows the results of a state-of-the-art 3D simulation of supernova explosion and neutron star birth. It is a rare instance when the full stellar evolution of such an object, including the physics of the convection and the radiation, has been simulated in three dimensions. Among the highlights is the deep core that is shrinking after explosion due to neutrino cooling and eleptonization on its way to becoming a cold, compact neutron star. An exterior view shows the blast wave, which cocoons the newly birthed neutron star moving at approximately 10,000 kilometers per second. After 10 million years of quiescent evolution, the core of this object becomes unstable and collapses. It bounces and a shock wave is produced, like a spherical piston. But that shock stalls and matter continues to flow through it. Here we see tracer particles which illustrate how matter is falling in. This outer surface is the shock wave, the exterior of the explosion. The material behind the shock becomes unstable to violent, overturning turbulence due to the neutrino emissions that, as they pulse out, could heat the material. This results in heat-driven turbulence interior to the shock, exterior to the very inner region. It's this turbulence that needs to be simulated in three dimensions to understand with great fidelity its role in the explosion. As we zoom in and clip away the outer layers, we reveal an inner surface which bounds the central core that will shrink and cool and be left behind. This is the neutron star at birth. There are at least 100 million such neutron stars in the galaxy. We see here the nested structure where it is radiative in the central region bounded by a convective layer. Note that this is happening on a relatively small scale. The core is on the order of 100 kilometers across. We zoom back out through additional layers to again see the expanding shock, which is now a few thousand kilometers across and growing. Interior to that are surfaces and tracers, which map the composition of the material, which is different in different directions. The result is a very dynamic explosion, which is aspherical and asymmetrical. While the explosion is ejecting material outward in one direction, accretion of material is falling back in another. Visualizations such as this one help shed light on these complex, multidimensional processes.